What do you do for someone who sucks on camera, but you're trying to get them onto other people's podcasts? Now that you have been a pro at podcasting, you've launched multiple podcasts, you get other people on podcasts. Some of you referred to me and I've had them on my podcast. What do you do for someone who sucks on camera, but you're trying to get them onto other people's podcasts? One of the big things that's really important in our process is I actually interview every single client we have first, and then they actually get a report card on how it went. And the big part of our process is before we actually put a client on a show, we interview them and kind of see how it's going so we can give them feedback on what we can do. And I've had to interview clients on our company show, the Commander Brand Show, like sometimes two and three times to make sure they're good. That's not typical because for us, frankly, we're really trying to make sure we're working with people that are already great on camera because I think that really is important in the world we live in now. But we do a lot of coaching with somebody in the first month to make sure they appear better on camera because as much as I do, it's vital right now to really do that. But focusing on some of the basics, like making sure you're looking at the camera is a really big deal. Trying not to fidget too much. Relax. I find for me, I get stressed out before a big interview still. Mm -hmm. So I usually go for a walk before an interview and that kind of go calms me down. Don't go walk. So I go for walk a walk around the property and kind of chill out. So to me, if you can calm yourself down, if you can look at the camera, if you can just kind of be present and communicate with that person, you're going to do a lot better. But for us, that's one of the reasons we do an interview with somebody first because we want to try and work those kinks out with them.